In other news, after some twists and turns in court last week, the suspect charged with punching a disabled man has now pleaded guilty in the attack. Our Joe Holden was in the courtroom this morning. He joins us live from Westchester with all of the details. Good afternoon, Joe. Jim, good afternoon. In all reality, it was left to be seen what Barry Baker was going to do. You'll remember that back in May, he was accused of sucker punching a man with cerebral palsy. That after making fun of him late night here outside of 7-Eleven in Westchester. Well, today, Baker appeared once again before the same judge in a white dress shirt, black pants, and checkered colored sneakers. He told the judge that, yes, indeed, he was guilty on two charges. The one charge, simple assault. The other charge, flight from apprehension, because Barry Baker ran from police as they were hunting him down, trying to put him behind bars on a number of charges, some domestic, others related to the assault charge. But Baker this noon taking responsibility for landing that punch against the victim, Michael Ryan. Now, we spoke to the victim's father outside of court. Have a listen to how he characterized the events. It was really unbelievable that he would be as stupid to think that somebody's going to buy that story when there's facts and video that proves otherwise. So I don't know what he was trying to do by backing into a corner like that. I didn't understand what he was doing, but, um, you know, as they say, it's hard to fix stupid. And that's Patrick Ryan talking about uh, last week when Barry Baker tried to claim that he ran into this victim sometime earlier in the night and he and the victim had words. Essentially, he told the judge today that never happened. Of course, the latest coming up on Eyewitness News at 5. Hear what the victim and all of this had to say. I'll see you then. Reporting live in Westchester, I'm Joe Holden, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Joe. Meanwhile,